Hallelujah. God's promises. Yeah, today it got me thinking. My son told me something that I, I asked him why he loves me. And he told me it is because I keep my promises. And it got me thinking. I didn't expect him to say that. I thought he would say I provide, I do this or I do the other. But he said he loves me because I keep promises. And this took me to scriptures. Second Corinthians chapter number 1 and verses 20. Bible says that his promises, I'm talking about God. His promises are yes and amen. We are living in times that people don't honor their word. They say one thing and do the other. And I'm not an exception. But if there is a quality of a good friend, it is a friend who keeps his word. I read it in another version, and the Bible was saying, whatever God has promised gets stamped with a yes of Jesus. I love that version, but I, that whatever, God's, whatever God promises, it gets stamped with yes. There is no denial. Yes. If he has promised, it is yes. The Bible, I don't know whether you know his promises. He has promised so many things in the Bible. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And uh, when God promised something, it is as good as done. It may not happen on your timetable. It may not happen exactly as you want it. But I'm here to remind you something very, very simple and profound. That whatever God's promise, he brings, he brings it to accomplish, accomplishment. He make it come to pass. There may be some waiting invo uh, involved. And I'm here to talk to somebody who is waiting for God to do something in his life. And I'm here to tell you God will definitely bring it to pass. Because all his promises get stamped with a yes. Maybe you are there. And you are standing on God's promises. You are standing on God. You know what God has promised you in your life. Allow me to encourage you to keep waiting. Allow me to tell you and to encourage you to keep hoping. You may be going through mourning. But God has promised that the morning may endure for the night. But the shouts of joy comes in the morning. The morning time is not sweet. The morning time is not enjoyable. The morning time is not a good time. But I'm here to tell you, the promise of God says that the his morning may endure for the night, but a shouts of joy comes in the morning. My friends, you may be going through a morning time right now, or you just came from morning. And may, I want to tell you, may, uh, in future, you may go through... Or let me not say you, you might. I know you will because this is life and uh, life happens. And it happens to people who are living. You will go through mourning, but there is a promise right there. If the verse ended at mourning may endure or mourning endures, we would feel so discouraged, but I'm here to tell you that the morning may endure for the night, but the shouts of joy comes in the morning. Whatever you are going through, I feel like telling you something, man of God or woman of God or child of God, that the promises of God are yes and amen. And he has promised that after morning, if we keep our faith and not quit, if we keep our faith, it will come through, he will come through for you no matter what. It may not be in the form and shape that you expect. But I'm telling you one thing that I know for sure is that God will come through for you. Praise the name of the Lord. 
And we need to imitate our God. Our God is a promise keeper. He's a miracle worker. He is a great God. Let us imitate our God. May we pray to God that uh, he will help us. He will give us the capability to be people of the word. To be people of the words. Whatever we say, may God help us to keep our words. My son told me today that the promises are like glass. They get shattered quickly. But we, we need to be always careful. We need to be very careful when we make a promise not to break it. Because you when you break a promise, people will have a hard time to trust you. He told me, I love you because you keep your promises. And let me tell you something about our God. Our Father who is, in, who is at heaven, he keeps his promises promises. Stand in the promises of God. When he said he will deliver and he will deliver in a timely manner. You may think that the time is going too fast and you don't know whether he will ever come through for you. Whatever you are waiting God for. I'm here to tell you he is a promise keeper and we need to imitate him in our lives. May God help us to keep our promises. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, 5 from uh, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter number 5 verse 2 going down there. He said, the Bible says, do not shoot off your mouth or speak before you think, before you make a promise. To somebody. Before you make a promise before God. Do not shoot off your mouth. Do not be quick to make promises. Do not be too quick. To tell God what you think he wants to hear. God is in charge not you. The less you speak. The better. That's how life is. The less you speak the better. Before you promise something. Ponder it over. Think about it. Are you willing to commit? Because when you say, I will, you are not as free as before. When you see, when you say, I will, you are binding yourself with your word. And the people expect you to deliver. So when you say, God, I will serve you for the rest of my life. You know when we are really squeezed in life, when we are going through a very hard time, we make so many promises before God. And then we don't honor them. So may you decide from today, because we are serving God who is a promise keeper, he expects us to reciprocate. He expects us to do the same. He expects us to do the same. The promises that you make when you are squeezed, when things are going well, God expects us to do the same. So I, I just decided to drop this word here and it tell you that our God keeps promises. No matter what you're going through, we serve a God who is a promise keeper. Let us stand on his promises without a waiver. For he will surely deliver. God bless you.